Evaluate the integrals for f of x shown in the figure below. The two parts of the graph are semicircles. Okay, so let's uh, label some points. This is zero, this is two, this is four, this is six. All right, they want us to compute first a, the integral from zero to two of five times f of x dx, right? Okay, so based on the constant multiplier property for integrals, we can say that this is just five times the integral from zero to two of f of x dx, right? But when you look at the figure, you see that from zero to two, here we have half of a circle and it's below the x-axis, right? Means that this is a sine area, it's a negative area. So this is gonna be negative one half of pi, pi, the radius of this half of a circle is just one, one is squared, right? And if you do the math, half of five is 2.5, this will be negative 2.5 pi, done with a. Let's go with b. For b, we have integral from zero to two of zero to six actually, from zero to six of f of x dx. All right, and there is a two here, right? Now, again, based on the constant multiplier rule, this should be equal to the integral from zero to six of f of x dx, right? Now, when you look at the graph, this integral can be broken down as the integral from zero to two of f of x dx, plus the integral from two to six, zero to two to two six, good, f of x dx, right? Very good. Now, this should lead to the following. This integral should be simply this area, right? Again, since it's below the x-axis, should be negative, negative one half of pi raised to square, plus this other area from two to six, one half of the area of this half of a circle by two squared. Notice positive because the half of a circle is above the x-axis, right? Now, when you do the computation here is four divided by two, two minus a half, 1.5 times two, this will lead to three pi. Done with B. Let's go ahead with C. It's for C, now the integral from one to four, five times f of x dx. Again, constant multiplier rule tells us that this is just equal to this. Further, this should be just equal to five times what? We're going from one to four, right? So a quarter of a circle here, negative, quarter of a circle, one quarter of pi times r square. Then a quarter of a circle here from two to four positive, right? So plus a quarter of pi two square. If you do the math four here, divided by four, one, a quarter 0.25, 0 0.75 times five, this is gonna give you 3.75 pi, right? Now we see D for D, let's do it here. Integral from one to six of absolute value of twice F of X DX. Constant multiplier rule tells us that this is equal to this. And now notice that we are dealing with the absolute value of the function, right? So then we have to consider the area from zero, actually it starts at one, right? From one to two, 
but this area, right? You may say, Professor, why that area? Because it's the absolute value of function. So we have to flip it up here, right? So this area plus the area from two to six, this other area, right? Both positive. Very good. So we're talking about a quarter, a quarter of pi squared plus plus one half of pi two square. It's four divided to two. Quarter here, zero point twenty five. With two to point twenty five times two, four point five. 4.5 pi, okay? Let's write it nicely, this four. And that should be the answer, right, for part D. Okay, I hope this video helped you uh, to clarify, especially this idea of areas right you may say professor all areas are positive yeah that's in geometry but in calculus integral calculus if the graph is below the x-axis that is considered to be a negative area if the area is above the x-axis that is considered to be a positive area i hope this served to clarify that if you like the video please subscribe more videos coming up thank you